Welcome back. How do you want to set this thing up? Uh, do it like we normally do. Yeah. Counterfeit here, right? Yeah. Uh, Texts are still photos. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
all of them, because I signed a general agreement with the Chancellor of Higher Education in the state of New Jersey. So this is everywhere we have a Hispanic concentration. Then we go there, we move there, and this is my major interest. Now we are moving to Spain. We want also to get close to the block right. economy of the European economy. And very soon, in, the, in next April, I will be signing a general agreement with the Complutense University of Madrid so that we can pursue our, our uh, interaction there. So this is a, I want to become international. Great. Well, we'll hope so that. I'm looking forward because we should follow through with some specific projects. A general agreement is just a general agreement, but uh, we have to follow through with a specific project. That's really what counts. So I'm looking forward to your new developments here at Pan Am and University of Texas, and I, I will be more than happy. And I'm going to invite you uh, to visit uh, Puerto Rico Inter-American University. Inter-American University is the largest private university in Puerto Rico and possibly in the Western Hemisphere. We have 43,000 students, 10 campuses spread all over the island. We cover the whole island. And we, ha we do offer uh, from associate degree to doctoral programs. Now we have two new developments, engineering, and I would like to develop a medical science campus. This is another development. So uh, those two programs are very costly programs, but I think that the, our system should uh, well run its development with, the, with these two uh, uh, big projects in the near future. So I think we have five copies of the agreement here. And we can just start once you start with I think well, it's three pages. Let me just um, very briefly just uh, read a couple of things in here to give you some idea of what the uh, cooperative agreement is. Uh, really, the purpose of this uh, between the UT Pan American and Inter American University is to promote the interest in teaching and research activities of the respected institution and to de deepen the understanding of economic, social, and traditions of respective cultures. And now you can see why we're doing this. Uh, but basically, I won't get on to all the other things, but it will be to develop uh, exchange ships, both of uh, faculty and scholars and students, to do either teaching or research activities, and to uh, uh, provide uh, uh, opportunities for our students to study abroad and to also do some research. Also, we'd like to do some joint uh, uh, educational programs to, and uh, research programs together, and. Uh, particularly to develop the area of teaching and research in the, in the area of interest of each of the institutions, which, as you can tell, our areas of interest is very, very common. Dr. Gonzalez, if you can we can work this out, we can do this right away. As you can see, uh, it has a lot more signatures here from the systems people. Mm -hmm. Now that we're part of the systems people, as we were talking, there's about four more signatures <laughs> that are going to have to. You're the last word here, but I have to get about four other signatures before I do this. So uh, don't get a, don't don't get concerned with all the other black signatures. <laughs> And we have a two second page, we'll get the third page that it doesn't have a
if you will, just this is already signed for. Mm -hmm. We have only four, Dr. Mosada. Four? That's okay. Yeah, we'll do four of these plenty enough. All right. Okay. Uh, doctor? Shaking hands? We're standing Looking forward to it. Well, looking. Well, looking. Well, looking. Well, looking. Uh, let us continue. Let me just introduce uh, to our visitors, our people that are here, so that if you find interest uh, already, uh, let me start at the, over here with... Uh, Dr. Will Davis, he's the Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. Dr. Ernesto Arnal is the Dean of the uh, School of Education. Uh, Mr. Steve Kopel is the Director of uh, Technology Research on Campus and RL Computer Labs and uh, 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 all interactive video, and you'll be spending some time with it. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jim Langenbeer is the Vice President for Business Affairs, and next to him is Dr. Uh, uh, Rudy Gomez, which is Vice President of Academic Affairs. And to the right side of uh, Dr. Uh, Lopez is uh, Ed Mercer, which is the Vice President for Development, uh, Fundraising. And to his right is uh, Dr. Uh, Julian Castillo, which is the Director of the LI Health Nursing uh, Division. And Dr. Uh, Ernesto uh, Ernie. <laughs> 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 Ernesto Vaca, he's from New Mexico, but he's married, he's married someone from... Uh, Cabas, uh, where are we? Right? right. So you've already met him. And I've already introduced Dr. Uh, Richardson, Chad Richardson. Uh, he will be our point person in our, in our inter-American uh, uh, program. And uh, we have our Dean of the School of Business Administration, uh, uh, F.J. Burden. And uh, Mr. Gower is our Director of our Libraries. And Carol Rausch is uh, my administrative assistant. And Tatuan Indy is the uh, director of institutional research and planning. And finally, but certainly not least, uh, Judy Vincent is the dean of students on there. So why don't we spend at least a few more minutes uh, sure. uh, here, and then uh, they have some tours that they're going to make for it. And I'd like to talk to six other campuses right now to where at any one time we could offer a class to for instance Austin or San Antonio or Galveston or Brownsville and or they could offer a class to us. We're linked together through cameras, TV monitors and microphones. It's a face-to-face -face communication that works real well and the reason basically we're doing it is because it helps the student out. They don't have to travel all the way to get to the classroom here. They want the classroom, but, uh, the class that's being offered here, for instance, but they're, you know, at some other location. They go to the location close to them, and they take the class, and it's like if they were here. They sign up for the class on this campus. They have to be students uh, of this campus, even though they're somewhere. The lab schedule, well, we schedule them based on what we think the what demand is going to require. They, they come in at their own convenience, though, so anytime during the day oh, yeah, or night. Uh, we're open until 11 p.m. here. And also on the weekend. Uh, we can't handle it here, so go ahead and send on to our tech and uh, technician over in the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as long as it's like this, the professors will uh, send in a paper stating uh, 